Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful day here on the farm, but I want to thank everybody for stopping by. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you guys want to help me out, I would appreciate it. Alrighty, so uh, this morning, we're getting started. We got to start working on the third high tunnel. But first, like I mentioned in my other videos, we have to build and move that fence that my dad has so we're gonna go ahead and start the morning with that it's just a, a three wire electric fence so it's not too terribly bad we, we should be able to get it done pretty quick and then we have to score off the pad and start being in post so I mean as you guys know we're in southwest Missouri so we got it's gonna take a quick minute to beat in all the post but you know as we're doing that Adrian's gonna get the uh, W trusses finished you gotta get the glow plugs here for this warm up. There you go. So Adrian and Isaac will get the W trusses ready, and then whenever we get done beating in the post, we're gonna go in and start laying them in and start on printing pipes. And I'll take you guys along for the ride because I'm uploading every day now. So uh, for sure, I'll take you guys along for the ride. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys the uh, check on the high tunnels here this morning. There's not much going on in here, but. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. Whew. So now I'm going to go ahead and check on the strawberries in the tunnel here. As you guys know, the field strawberries have been covered. I probably should show you guys those. But I did spray for spider mites in here on Thursday, I believe. So it's been a couple days now. And I'm going to go ahead and inspect the plants here. See what is going on. So I did use some crop oil. That's what I sprayed with a miticide combined. So, you know, because that crop oil, once it sticks to the actual leaves, it kind of kills off and it, it suffocates the actual eggs of the spider mites. And then, of course, some miticide was for the adults. So, that crop oil, uh, not crop, yeah, it's crop oil, kind of smells a little because it's like a. The dormant oil we use on the trees but it's a little different so that kind of has a little bit of a scent in here it's not it's not it's not uh it does not harmful to us so it's not bad but the mitocide side has kind of died off here so i'm gonna go ahead and inspect some of these plants here on these d neutral varieties just because uh these are the ones that were the most susceptible anyways this is the tunnel right here so we got to move this fence way yonder and then course i mean this will be done in a couple hours here this morning it's not too terribly bad but we're gonna go ahead and get to work we got to go pull out some t-posts and then start laying pulling the string and i mean all, all kinds of fencing stuff today so yeah let's go ahead and get started beating in all the posts Adrian just got done putting all the insulators on and now Isaac and I are putting the uh, the ends here we put the gate I left the, the the camera on the four wheeler and it was right here with us I just got busy working and you know forget to film so we got the gates on they're uh, level with the ground here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start pulling this high tensile wire here we're just putting on these uh, insulators on the end put the wires we were tied up there we got two more on the bottom that corner that corner that corner and then we are done so the nice thing about putting a high tensile wire up it's nice fast and convenient and it gets done pretty quick so we're gonna go ahead and pull off all these posts here and square off the pad and hopefully by tonight we go ahead and start working on the tunnel
Alrighty, so we got done with the electric fence. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the inside there. Just we hit the controller inside the barn there, made a hole, put a PVC pipe or electric uh, uh, electric pipe, electric PVC pipe, the gray ones. I don't know what they're called, technical terms, you know. Just come up here, put a seven foot T post, beat it in the ground a little bit, put a two hole strap, two different straps here, four different lines going all the way that way I left the alleyway right here for the animal so they can graze this portion of the field here and like I said earlier this is about a half acre here uh, we're gonna have seven high tunnels over here so be a half acre of high tunnels and that's the uh, the idea and the plan about that so everything's cleared up nicely we got the dog cage we got to move on this side right here but anyways Adrian and I went ahead and moved, measured this was a rough estimate here concrete stake right there so it's gonna be from right here we have 12 foot in between each tunnel just have plenty of room to drive in between them and access that and then we have 30 by 96 so uh, yeah tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and square it off i was hoping we could do it today but it is what it is the electric fence took a lot longer than i thought because it's a lot more than we thought it's about a half acre of uh that we closed in here so it's not too bad but at least now we're gonna go ahead and plow the entire thing till it in and then you know we're gonna grow in it until we have more and more more high tunnels going in just to have you know have that space open so that you know we could show the nrcs that hey we're actively growing something here and we're, we're hoping we get all of them through the grants but we'll see like i said if you're growing tomatoes and we're planning on growing tomatoes and a lot of them you know that's a pretty much first year payoff so we're not too worried about it. even if you are, are paying some out of pocket it's not that big of a deal to uh to invest and buy one so we'll just we'll see how the how the years goes on and uh how it progresses but yeah i'm glad we got the fence done now we go ahead and start into working on the tunnel all right so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this right here so you know i'm six four and this is about eight foot tall here so it's not too bad and it just goes across that is hot wire so i don't want to touch it. it gives gives me and the animals plenty of clearance i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i've done in here so it's not too terribly bad i mean i'm not i'm no professional but no, it's not too bad. So we got the controller over there. I got the hot cutter. So that's my idea with the whole PVC pipe in there. So, you know, it, it's it's protected. Comes into the charger. And then I just got the ground wire going into a this right here. So it's not too bad. It works. So that's all that matters. And it doesn't look too tacky. So, you know, nobody likes a tacky job. So that's how it looks right there. So this is going to be pretty much it for today. Like I said, tomorrow we're going to go ahead and start on the tunnel. And the plan is for tomorrow, let's hope we get all the uh, the um, trusses finished and the posts in the ground. But we'll see. I mean, I don't want to say that we're going to get it done because we don't know. I mean, we. Have, I mean, depends what we're doing tomorrow. But this is going to be pretty much it for today. We got the fencing done, so that's that's a good, good thing for today. So I want to thank everybody for watching up to this point. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go in and smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget. I'm coming to you guys every single day until I hit 10K. So if you guys want to help me out, I would appreciate it. You guys have a good day, and we'll see you next time.